but having said that, we have made some progress. I mean, we have two members in our cabinet, the Honorable um, Samantha Marshall and the Honorable um, Maria Brown. Uh, it may have been the first time in the history of the country that we have had two elected members in a cabinet as, a fem as females. So, though not sufficient in terms of um, the, the amount of members in the cabinet, at least we're moving in the right direction. And I hope that for the upcoming elections, we're doing all we can to get perhaps maybe another two, three females. I mean, I, I know, for example, in the rural West, um, you know, the member there is advancing in age, so we're going to have a discussion with him as to, uh, and to encourage him to make space for a younger person. I mean, I'm sorry to say this um, publicly, but you know, I'm as frank as they come, and to hopefully have him um, support a female um, candidate. So if we achieve that, that's one. I hope we can get another one in Barbuda. Uh, that's two. And uh, I believe um, there may be probably another yes, two yes, vacancies also going right. to the next general elections. So I, I remain very hopeful that we can feel yes, at least yes, four or five yes, female yes, candidates. Yes. So we're doing all we can to um, attract more female candidates, more female leadership within the party and the government. Sure.